I'm Joe Agostinelli, Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, and this is Putting Possibility into Practice, the podcast from Greenway Health. And for this episode, I am joined by Tabitha Towns, who is a Client Revenue Manager for Greenway Revenue Services, located in our Carrollton, Georgia office. And I thank Tabitha for taking time out of her day to join me today. We are not only talking about Greenway Revenue Services, but how those services were recently utilized by uh, a practice and a result of partnering with Greenway Revenue Services. And Tabitha, let's first start off with when we talk about Greenway Revenue Services, what are we talking about in regards to how those services are employed at a practice? So when we work with our customers, we are basically helping that customer manage their accounts receivable. So that goes from the moment that they enter the charges and we bill out the claims all the way through the life cycle of that claim process um, to the point to where that claim is paid by the insurance company and then any balance is transferred over to the patient or guarantor. So we um, help the practice um, not only manage that money but identify areas uh, of concern or opportunity that we can make improvements and get a higher reimbursement or more money in the door for them. And the case that we're taking a look at today in today's podcast deals with Mesa OBGYN and her team, uh, Tabitha's team, Help the Practices, dedicated staff come back from uh, falling woefully behind on billing, a deafening threat to the business. And Dr. Gomez at the practice attributes his ability to continue providing care to his Greenway Revenue Services team. And he, uh, Dr. Gomez had a dedicated biller but realized it was too much for her to handle. So how did you build the relationship to both she and Dr. Gomez uh, were open to new ideas? So basically, the bottom line to uh, any relationship is going to be communication. So we had to establish those open lines of communication. Um, We worked out with Wanda and Dr. Gomez so that she was not limited to contacting our team members um, by only one means of of, um, or an avenue for communication. Um, Through email, um, different systems, uh, task systems within the software, um, just picking up the phone, uh, anything like that. Um, So we just opened up those lines. We allowed her to um, reach out to us with any questions or concerns at at any moment, not having that limited to a certain time or or area. Uh, The claims analyst that we have working on the account uh, is also a real go-getter. So any time that we identified an area of concern, we made sure that we um, did research and provide value and advice with uh, documentation to back that up. And that way they were able to have everything at their fingertips and they didn't have to do all the legwork and they can make an informed decision right then and there. And then with your uh, new relationship, how did you enable each other for top success? Well, we found a workflow that worked well for both sides of the relationship. Um, with that workflow, we demonstrated to the client that our commitment to the needs of the practice um, were, were solid. Our goal is to respond to any question or concern within 24 hours, addressing those of urgency immediately. Um, And then by demonstrating that commitment and partnership, it really allowed us to become a remote extension of the practice. Um, We also built up that personal relationship with Dr. Gomez, Wanda, and Holly in the office. You really have to establish trust uh, and show that you really care, and I believe that's what our team did, and, and that's what allowed us to work so well together. Now, in this case and in other cases, how do you identify what areas, uh, you know, in this case, Dr. Gomez uh, and his practice needed help with the most, um, but how really for any practice do you, do you identify what areas the practices uh, may need assistance? Well, you definitely have to uh, know the office and know the practice, and, and that, again, it goes back to communication. Um, so just been in talking our weekly conversations with the client, Um, and making connections with them. We also internally, we use a lot of different uh, or various reports that we have access to within the software. So just a combination of knowing what the provider was seeing on his side and then making connections to what we were seeing with the numbers allowed us to really hone in on those areas and identify, hey, you know, we've got a credentialing issue here that we've got to get situated. Um, They had some offices that were relocating some offices and um, some paperwork was not filled out. But we would not have known that if we weren't listening to the customer and, and understanding what was happening there on their side. Then you've experienced turnover with uh, Dr. Gomez's practice, not, with, not within Greenway, but with his practice. 
because of retirement or attrition, uh, how were you able to still double his rate per encounter with less staff? And is that something you see now with practices from time to time as a, as a turnover of, of staff? Absolutely, you do see that, um, especially in the bigger practices. Um, currently in the market, we're seeing a lot of practices being bought up by larger practices, right? And so anytime that happens, there's always, um, you have to redo all this paperwork and you have to get them re-enrolled and re-credentialed. Um, but what we did is we really took a look at what he was billing out. Um, previously, we had a, a larger volume. Once these providers started retiring or leaving the practice, the volume fell. Um, and we constantly monitored his charges and we wanted we had a target goal that we wanted to make sure that he was billing out if he wasn't close to getting that then you know we wouldn't let him know and then they would reach out try to reschedule appointments things like that um, we we were able to identify um, areas and services that he was billing out that he was not getting full reimbursement for um, based on that contracting with that payer so we did some research we identified a comparable uh, service or um, procedure that he may be able to do that he would get reimbursed on. And so just by making those few little changes there, um, even though he had doctors leaving the practice, he was actually getting reimbursed more for the services that he was provided than he was previously. Let me um, just ask you, going back as, as our initial conversation about Greenway Revenue Services, do you find that there's a certain time where a practice realizes, oh, I need help with my billing practices, and they, and they contact you? Um, and what advice would you give to a practice that's maybe thinking of coming on board with Greenway Revenue Services but still has some additional questions or thoughts as to maybe they should or should not do it? Well, I think that they, they absolutely, absolutely um, should ask lot of questions. Um, I recently went through a process where we had a um, potential customer who was on the verge of, you know, do I go, do I not go? Uh, that customer actually reached out to me and we had a conversation and I told her in depth exactly what I could offer and what my team could do for her. Um, she, again, she had a lot of questions. She maybe rephrased some of those questions in different ways um, and, and she got the same answer. She was very pleased with that um, and we won the sale, so she is going to be joining us soon. Um, and she's actually going to be one of my customers since I was able to speak with her. But um, I, I think just taking the time to ask the questions. Um, but they also have to know, you know what is going on in their practice. Um, I think some of our uh, practices that do join, they don't realize that they need assistance until it's, it's after the fact, right, where they have a large backlog or a large AR, and it's just they feel like they're in over their heads and they're not sure where to even start. Um, we come in and we have you know multiple teams um, that look at various things from the payments to the insurance follow-up and, and being able to go in and look at different chunks and identify those areas, uh, I think provides the practice that opportunity um, to take that and then you know address those those concerns and get resolution on those items. Sounds great. Thank you for all the great information today. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time out of your day to uh, join us for this uh, podcast episode. Once again, that was uh, Tabitha Towns, Client uh, Revenue Manager with Greenway Revenue Services out of our Carrollton, Georgia office. If you would like more information on Greenway Revenue Services and how Tabitha and her team can assist your practice, visit our website at www.greenwayhealth.com. We thank you for listening to this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice. You can find all of our episodes of our podcast on SoundCloud, on the Google Play Music, and on iTunes. We invite you to not only listen to past episodes, but subscribe to get informed as to when new episodes are uploaded each week. Once again, we thank Tabitha Towns for taking time out of her day to discuss Greenway Revenue Services with me, Joe Agostinelli, the Social Media Manager at Greenway Health, on this episode of Putting Possibility into Practice.